welcome to today's video. I'm out this morning back into the Vale of Beaver. I may, I just may, stop at Cafe Alley for a flat white. Because if you watched the last video, I missed out. Didn't stop. So when I went to bed last night, I had grand plans for today. I was going to do 50 miles, which would make 100, just over 100 for the week. But yesterday I went down to see family in London, which was great. However, it's like four and a half hours driving there and back, and then sitting around talking all day and eating, as you do, makes you tired, you know. So this morning, it really feel like doing 50. So I had a slight lay in, stayed an extra hour in bed, I'm now contemplating 30, maybe 35. What I might do, because I was an hour late, I missed the club ride. So what I might do is maybe meet it at the coffee stop. Jeff might be on the ride. If you watched the video a few weeks ago, I'll put a link up there. You met Jeff. It should be more Jeff, we feel. So we might just see Jeff, you never know. So last time I came this way was a swan's nest. One of them unfriendly ones I showed you the other week. Here we go. They are obviously still asleep today. <laughs> they do look cute though, don't they? seven miles into the ride getting a bit warm time to remove the sleeves remove the arm warmers I think don't need them now so today is new glasses day I know what you're gonna say they're not a lot different to your old glasses this is true but before I tell you about them it's coffee stop time one hour later So, my stop for a quick flat white it was very enjoyable, but it became an hour. I was catching up with Claire, one of the owners of Cafe LA, and uh, not seen to speak to for ages, and it was really nice to have a catch up actually, but I'm definitely not going to be doing 50 miles now, am I? weather today it's a bit cloudy but it's warm but the Vale of Beaver is strangely quiet it's just not a lot of people about it's weird so back to the subject in hand and my new glasses so these are go bicycle style glasses I do like this general shape my favourite regular glasses are the 100% ones which I normally wear. I say 100%, they're 100% copied, that's what they are. But they're very comfortable. They're my most comfortable glasses by far. So certainly in the summer, they would be my choice. In the winter, my other pair of Go Bicycle style glasses with the photochromatic lenses, the change colour are my favourite because obviously particularly in the winter you might leave in a low light and it becomes brighter so saves having to carry two pairs of glasses so when these arrived i thought wow yeah they're very similar in style to my favorite glasses so yeah i should see what they're like and they'll be really comfortable oh, yeah. so i have the soft rubberized nose piece that I really like, which uh, is virtually identical actually to my other glasses, and that makes them really comfortable to wear. And I do like the general shape of them, they're certainly very comfortable. I came with four sets of lenses the red orange lens, which is in now, a blue purple lens, a clear lens, 
and a smoke black lens. The smoke black is polarized. So that's pretty nice in good weather. I think the polarized helps when the sun is really bright and especially by water, it just helps with your vision quite a lot. So only the black that are polarized, the other lenses are not. We get a really nice case with them. You get a strap to go around the back of your head to save you losing them. You get a polishing cloth. So I think come winter time, putting in clear lenses for winter or for low light or rain, yep, that's going to be pretty good. But uh, overall, so far on this ride, yeah, just as comfortable as my regular favourite glasses. I shall drop a link below to go basic. Oh, can't I can't talk. I put my proper teeth in. I shall drop a link below to go ba go bicycle styles website. So I can have a look at this and other glasses that they do, including the, the other pair that I've got that are mainly winter, as I say, the photochromatic ones. So I'm also going to drop in a little video here of what is actually supplied with the glasses and in the case, so you can see for yourself. there's the shape of the glasses and they've got this slightly kind of octagonal edge to them on this you've got a, a rim which goes to the top and a bit down the middle to give it some extra strength the lenses pop easy out the top there so underneath just there is a soft rubber pad the side piece is just here there's a join just there you can actually see there's a slight difference in the color of the material there slightly brighter white on the back but you actually get a second pair of those in the in the case which are black so i guess if you just wanted to change change the color or if you break one of those that you've got some spares with it so i don't know how well this will work out you can see it gives a slight bluish tinge to the top but they work quite well so i've just stopped here i'm at the top of the hill going down from the beaver ridge into stafford and this is a great viewpoint i don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up because it is quite misty but you can see just in the distance just over there the sun is actually out just catching the top of the hills opposite um it's a little bit murky out there i'll try and blow it up a little bit when i'm editing this video but this is a fantastic view i don't know how far it is but you can see in the summer a very very long way it's a glorious view I'm going to turn this into a two coffee stop ride. You can see on that sign, this is the way to Dove Cottage. So I'm going to head now to Dove Cottage Cafe. So Dove Cottage is actually a hospice and has a little cafe, help it raise funds. Obviously it's a really good cause. I must admit, I don't go there all that often. Been a bit of a coffee snob, but when you do go there, it's really nice to support that kind of place. So if you do come to the Vale of Beaver, or if you're in the Vale of Beaver, as I know many of, many of the viewers are, just check it out, have a look at it. It's, it's down a little lane, just off the Grantham Canal, just near Stathen. Dove Cottage. A little longer than a few minutes later. T-shirts, haven't I? With be oh, more Jeff yeah. on it. Well, for those of you who want to do, I reckon more Jeff. It was just Dave Drew, actually. He was the only one. No, there was hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon we should get some be more, be more Drew T-shirts as well? Yeah. yeah. He's only jealous because he's never been on the vlog. No, exactly. 
He did like to skeg him back last week. So he did, that was an epic one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it was really good to jump on the club ride for an hour or so. So heading back now, I think I'm actually going to end about 40 odd miles, just over 40. If you can hear shooting, I'm just passing the shooting range. They're not shooting at me, I hope. Ooh, 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 ooh. So when it's a new glasses day, it's great to have super clear vision. Not a mark on the lenses. See everything, perfect. No distortion, it's marvellous. I'm going to go off back off road now. I'm going to head back to Grantham, I think, along the canal and along the cycle path, the old railway line. So, a while since I've been that way, actually. Definitely a while since I've been this way and taking you guys with me. There it is. So, I'm about 10 miles now. No, actually, a bit less now. About, about nine miles from home now. Seems really quiet out here today for some reason. I don't know quite why. So I do have for you today, if you watched the last video, I have a shoe update. So this morning before I left home, I sprayed some GT85, trusty GT85, on my cleats and on the pedals. And I've got no squeaks. So, at least in the short term, that seems to have fixed that issue. It's my friends again. Quite a friendly that little group, aren't they? So I'm gonna end this ride at about 43 miles, I think. So not quite the 50 I had in mind when I went to bed last night, but more than the 30 I had in mind when I woke up. So I shall see you again in a few days time. Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Tell your friends and I'll see you again in a few days time. Bye.